Shelly Hickman says she stands by her statement that the state auditor's news conference was political theater, a grandiose news conference to show sensationalized findings on Epic. The state auditor just has a history of doing that. We're just the latest victim. Epic's assistant superintendent Shelley Hickman says there are a lot of things the state auditor got wrong in the report, including this. The method Epic used to calculate its, its student enrollment is still a mystery. Our student count is calculated the same way all traditional schools uh, do their student counts, and that's reported to the State Department of Education and verified by the Department of Education. She says the more than 61,000 students enrolled are real students. Hickman also denies the allegations. The charter school owes the state nearly $9 million. That administrative coding was done exactly the way that the State Department of Education instructed us to. It was certified by the State Department of Education and accepted. And so any any allegation that we owe $8.9 million is it's, it's just ludicrous. You all do not owe that much money. Oh, we would challenge that um, very aggressively. Hickman says Epic will release an item by item response to the report with backup documents, which shows they've done what the state agencies instructed them to do. All of that information was also provided to the state auditor and inspector. And there was a intentional um, choice on their part not to include certain documentation in their report that would challenge some of their findings. We've been under investigation for almost eight years, eight years. <laughs> and so uh, we, we have faith that eventually this process will render um, a finding of what we've asserted all along. We follow the law. Patrina Adger, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>